one two three and we're live this is Dive. in this video i'm gonna show you how to build this amazing section uh notice what happens i'm scrolling and we have this change of images as we scroll and also notice on the left part what happens as we scroll you can see that as i scroll we are moving from one image to the other which looks interesting so if you want to learn how to design this specific section in Frima without writing a single line of code then you have to watch this video so without uh, further ado let's get this started yes my name is Ju and this is Frima Dive let's get this started So I'm in my Frima space and uh, what I have here is my desktop. So this is not yet responsive, but I just want to show you how to recreate that part. So I have my navigation on the top. I have my section one here. I have my section two where we're going to create everything. And then I have the section three here at the bottom. So what i want you to do is click this page element and double click it i want you to double click it three times what we're doing here is we're just duplicating the same element but doing it three times why are we doing this is because the first step is we're gonna start by creating a scroll section so we're gonna start by creating a scroll section so basically inside this section two we need some space where we need to scroll. Without that space, we can't have our animation, our effect. So, so as you can see, I've duplicated it and inside here, I have seen something similar. So, and then I want you to come to the first page element and I want you to set the positioning type to sticky. What this means is that it's gonna stick at the top of this section so i'm gonna come and change the height so notice that the height readjusted to 33 so i'm gonna return it to 100 view h so again anytime you change something to sticky the height needs to be in viewport so what we have here is i have this set to sticky and i have these other two here that are set to just relative position and you can see when i click the page element this is relative Again, I'm going to duplicate again because I need three spaces, okay? Because I will be working with three, again, I will be working with three images. So let me just highlight this page element and I uh, want to give it like a red color so you can see exactly what I mean. So when I start to scroll, you can see this red sticks to my screen and then the white comes up. And then we're gonna do this again as you can see this other one still there because it's behind this white one so the stickiness is working and also remember anytime you set a layer to sticky that layer itself has to the parent of that layer so the parent of my pitch element is this section two that parent has to have overflow set to visible and then you also need to look at the parent of section two, which is this desktop one, has to have overflow set to visible. If you do that, then the sticky will work. If I set this to hidden, you will notice that my sticky will not work. As you can see, the red goes away. So always remember to set the desktop set to visible or any parent that is above your sticky layer to visible. So now just for it not to confuse us i'm gonna just um, delete everything i'm gonna hide everything i'm gonna clean it everything that is in this page element that we've just created so i'm gonna hold the content card and the image card i'm gonna set its opacity to uh, zero okay so now then i'm gonna go to this i'm gonna actually even rename it i'm gonna say this is my trigger one now we have three triggers and we have one sticky space so now as you can see as you scroll we can see these trigger sections coming up and then we can see them again so essentially these are gonna be our trigger things so what we're gonna do is uh let me just give you a clue is when this uh, trigger one gets to our uh, top of the viewport which is this part 
when it gets to this part, as you can see, then we're going to change the images or the content that is inside this sticky section. But that is just uh, a, 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 a view that we're going to look at. So, but for now, let's go back to what we need to do. And then I'm just going to come to my trigger, trigger one, trigger two, and then I'm going to make sure the opacity is not visible. So right now you can't see any of them. So, okay. So make sure the opacity is set to zero, zero, zero. Okay. So now I'm going to actually come back and return this to my gray color. So I'm going to just return it to my gray color. And then I want you to grab the page element and I want you to hold control alt K, which is my shortcut for creating a component. And I'm going to have it inside here. So inside here, I have, uh, I'm going to create three variants. So this is my first variant will be this one, second variant and three. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'm going to change the images of variant two and variant three. So I'm going to come here to unsplash. So I've already changed the images. So what now we need to do is rotate the variants using some triggers. It's that simple. But before we do it, we also need to change this to its respective variants. So something I want to show you here is this one I already created a component out of it. Meaning if I double click it, we have something inside. And this is critical. So as you can see, I have a frame inside here. And this frame is what actually uh, takes the, the background of my content. So notice that has zero index and then this and this has a one index. So if I change the frame color, you'll see that everything changes, but I want it to be black. So this is my active state. That's why I call it active variant. And then this is my non-active, which has the same frame, but I have reduced that frame to like one height, which makes it too small. And I've also killed its opacity. As you can see, there's a black line here, but I've killed its opacity. Okay. But either way, you can have the opacity on or you're not. So it depends on your preference. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my second variant and I'm going to click here and I'm going to set it to the active variant. I'm going to do the same for this previous one and I'm going to set it to non-active. Essentially, I'm changing the states of my buttons from active, this one to non-active, the third one to active, like that. So now we have a complete variant two and variant three. So now if I go back to my page and I view the website, nothing happens because we have not added our triggers. So to add our triggers, we need to come to the page element, click the page element and come to the effects and come to scroll variant. So I'm going to set this to section in view. So my trigger is going to be section in view. And um, I want when that section in view gets to the top of my viewport. And the section that I want to see is, as you can see, oops, we have no section. So we need to go back and define some sections. So let's go to our triggers, which is this, this, and this. And we need to define them a section. So how do we do that? We scroll on the right side the bottom part we see here scroll section and then i click this plus icon and i'm gonna call this scroll section one i'm gonna do the same for trigger two but now i'm gonna give it the name scroll section name two i'm gonna do the same for trigger three and i'm gonna give it three okay so now when i go back to my effects and uh, as you can see when i look ah now it's available so i can click uh section one when section one is in view, remember section one is this uh, part. As you can see, the one is the blue border. So when section one is in view, I want this variant to this variant to change to variant two. Remember, this is already variant one. So I want this to change to variant two. And then I'm going to add another section. So when section um, two is in view, I want this to change to variant three. Okay. So remember, this is section in view, top of the viewport. So now if I view my website, 
as you can see, if I start to scroll, uh, you see it sticks to my screen and then I start to scroll again. As you can see, I'm scrolling and then all of a sudden we switch to a different uh, page, different variant. And then again, I'm still scrolling again. You can see we are switching to the boardroom. And that's it. If you want to find the remix file, you can see it in the description. If you have any questions, ask in the comments and I will see you in the next video.